Before we start playing music, let's talk about some basic stroke concepts. To begin with, the marimba needs to be the right height for you. Most manufacturers make instruments that change height. Experiment and find the right height that's right for you. Most often, it's very close to where you might shake someone's hand. Not too high, not too low, and allowing the wrist to be straight. Most of the terminology I use in my book and on this DVD will, will branch from the Musser Stevens method of holding the mallets and tone production. If you play the traditional grip or the Burton grip on marimba, the tone production concepts are exactly the same. You can utilize this book to help your playing. Now, how we approach the instrument has a lot to do with how we sound. When you're straight and forward to the instrument, you have the best chances of the best tone. Let me show you an example. With my feet, my hips, and my shoulders square to the instrument, I'm going to place my mallets on C's and G's, and notice that they're about the same spot on the bars. Now, if I were to stand behind the instrument casually with all my weight on my right foot, like I would maybe if I was speaking with a friend, watch what happens with the mallets. Now, all I did was shift my weight. Now, you can see that now the mallets are on the C's and G's, but yet they're at different locations. How does that affect the sound? Let's try it. So, I will play some strokes in this position and then stand up. Listen to the marimba. I hope you heard a more focused tone, one that was more resonant and had a much richer tone. Just by standing up, you can have a better sound, just by being straight to the instrument. Now, another basic component of playing the marimba in, when you're working on technique is to allow your hand to be lower than the mallet. Your hand is lower than the mallet after the stroke. Now, let's do the reverse of that, where my hand is above. Some people might call this a downstroke. This is not a bad sound. This, though, will not give you maximum resonance and a full tone. So, utilize this stroke musically when you want to have that change in the music. However, when you're working on your technique, keep your hand low and allow the mallets to rise above the hand. Think about a nice fluid wrist motion. Avoid excessive motion in the elbow. Now, finally, in the book, I number the mallets one, two, three, and four from the left to the right. This is standard now from marimba literature. I don't use a large variety of mallets um, in the performances on this DVD. I'm using three or four sets of mallets, primarily because this book is designed for the intermediate marimbas and I'm assuming that they don't have bags and bags and bags of marimba mallets. So, it's good to have a good medium mallet, one that's softer for corrals, one that has a little bit more articulation for staccato playing, and then maybe something else like the unwrapped rubber mallet that I will use on the Etude Fry.